Mr. Hey, right on the fucking Mr. time. Sloppy ball show. Hey, well, sorry, what? <laughs> Say Mr. Right on time. Mr. Right on time. Let's get this show going, man. Welcome to the Bleeding Burgundy Podcast. A Washington Commanders podcast for fans by fans. With your hosts, Jesse Martin. The Cowboys are finished, you understand me? John Taman. Pull down my trousers and do your job. Scott Hartley. Well, that was dreadful. And occasionally, Keith Gray. So many social engagements, so little time. And now, your host. All right, well, Santa Claus did not bring me enough time to be able to fix our video opening. So the host is me. I'm John Taman. How are y'all doing? Uh, Welcome to the day after Christmas. We had a game on Christmas Eve. And then, I don't know, something happened in between there. We weren't able to do the show. So so here we are today. Did everybody have a good Christmas? Jesse, did you have a nice Christmas? I I had a sloppy bottom uh, Christmas. A sloppy bottom Christmas. Yeah. Jeez, dude, that 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 really I, I don't think that, that was what Scott said. Scott, you didn't say so, sloppy soggy bottom. bottom or sloppy, well, sloppy no, bullocks. I, mean, I think that you know how you say Scott, sometimes alcohol makes you tell the truth. Sometimes I, I don't it know. Being around on the opening of a podcast without something to say makes you tell the truth. A sloppy uh, bottom says Jesse. You know what that tells me? We won't be hearing him fart today on the show. Podcast without something to say. The fuck? Well, I don't know. He's got some kind of feedback going on there. Anyway, he's got something uh, going on there. Uh, my friend Father Christmas from uh, Barrow and Furnace, UK, Scott Hartland. How are you, I'm sir? I'm as, fa- as big as Father Christmas, but just don't have the same beard. So, yeah. Well, it's, uh, it's you know, it's it's funny. Now, Jesse, we were trying to, we were talking the other day when Scott wasn't here. We were we were talking about around your back about what it like must be like for Scott over there in Barrow and Furnace, UK, and Christmas with the in the traditional sense of uh jolly old england and his wife was kind enough to send me this picture of scott uh, trying to give her his present <laughs> jesus so it looks like his body here it looks like keith's body like uh, does it look like keith's body no way yeah. keith would come in here in a heartbeat and tell you you're out of your mind and he'll come in here without a shirt so you better be careful he does his name <laughs> twice one more time and you know what happens He'll be it's not class as nudity that John either because the nipples are covered. So we're quite. That's quite, right. Quite, I see. I see what you did there. See what you did. That's there. right. And you know, I didn't feel like because I didn't know if Yam was going to be on. I didn't feel like doing any kind of pixelation. Or well, anything. that's true. Yeah, that's you true. Know. So <laughs> gotta keep it there. And thank you to Mrs. Hartley for sending me that photograph. I hope you enjoyed your present. Uh, All right. So uh, we got a football game. Uh, uh, <laughs> NC Seventeen podcast says Scott. <laughs> Hey, man, I don't know. Jesse already told on himself as soon as we started off the show. Mr. Sloppy Bottom. All right. Uh, all right. Mm. Um, I'm, I'm all conflustered. So we'll just start with what everybody's always thinking. And that would be this. Uh, Sam is benched again. EB doesn't know what to do until the second half. And uh, five. Five. <laughs> right. Good morning. Uh, <laughs> morning yeah. with Jaden Daniels. I agree with that. Uh, look, here's the thing about the game on Sunday for me. Um, and Jesse, you're gonna freaking slug me. I, I'm kind of okay with the pick that we're gonna get, and I know we're, we're gonna lose that. If we miraculously beat the 49ers or the Cowboys, I will be very happy and laughing quite loudly about that. But I was, I was so close to being so happy with fucking <laughs> all the fucking. I mean, Twitter, I Twitter was melting down. I mean, oh, I melting down when we, we were, were driving down the fucking field. It was hilarious <laughs> because we were winning. What the hell are they doing? <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God, man. Well, I'll tell you what. So let's that that drew, that drags us right. I mean, right off the bat, we go right into our uh, our our owner. Meditations with Magic Johnson. It is the holidays, and it is at this time of year that I like to say happy holidays because it is the holidays, and you are supposed to be happy. But I am not happy. On Christmas Eve, I watched my commanders lose to the Jets. Tell me it is good to lose so we can get a quarterback. I do not want a quarterback. I want all of my money back. I don't think this team even knows how to play football. This is some shit that I have gotten myself into. I want all of my money back. (laughs) (laughs) I have not received 
<laughs> all one, all one, all one percent magic. Yeah, no problem. You can have that back. So for me, honestly, uh, it's about the best possible outcome. We played well. We came back. We had a lead. That mm-hmm. was fun. We almost won, and we are still number three. We moved up a slot. So I'm kind of excited now about this pick because I'm pretty damn sure we're going to lose out. Mm. Uh, yeah. mm. All right. So see, Go both of you are angry. You don't even know what to say to me now. Go no, ahead. No, I, I, I do. I do know what. Go on, Jesse. You go, mate. Sorry. Uh, no, I just uh, yeah, it's going to be a quarterback. I mean, it's got to be a quarterback, right? You would think. I, I mean, it depends on what happens ahead of them and who they like. I guess. I mean, I, sure. Just, I guess. Go ahead, Scott. I'm just so disappointed with it now. I mean, I really, really, really wanted it to work, but I watched the game back as well. As well. I know you do it, Jesse. Um, I had the time to sit and, and have a look at it because it's holiday. So I thought, you know what? I'll watch the whole game back. And he is seeing ghosts, man. There are things that he's doing where I just look and think, you're not planting your feet. You're holding the ball too long again. You're staring down receivers. I, I don't know what's happened to him, whether it's because, but this is oh, definitely broke. not the Sam Hull. Yeah, it's not Sam Hull we had four weeks ago. Yeah. It's not the same guy. And honestly, that Fair first quarter broken. was Thanks. that first quarter was quite honestly the worst quarter of football we have had this season. And I'm including the Bears game in that. <laughs> We were awful. We've had some pretty bad quarters. We were god awful to be seventeen nil down to the Jets. Well, oh, look, everything we everything game. was our own doing. Everything was our own doing. It was awful, mm-hmm. and it was literally. I thought to myself, "Is this even a professional team here?" Because no. I honestly don't know what they do. I mean, the team is not getting any better. And I mean, thanks, Ron. But what what are you hanging your hat on now? Because I, if I remember rightly, a few weeks ago he said. Send me my Super Bowl ring. At least I can hang my hat on Sam Howell. You're the guy who's benched him twice. Well, well, I don't That's blame good. him for benching him twice. He is yeah. broken. Yeah, and you know, the, the thing is, is that a season like this takes its toll. All right. Why is he any, why is he different from what he was? Because, man, you're right. He is seeing ghosts. He's got that look in his eye. Did y'all see the play? Jamal put it up today. Uh, John Kine brought it up today. It's just a quick little hitter to, um, to Logan Thomas that Thomas slips. And, yeah, and he and then he 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 bails to the outside and he tries to throw it to the outside. It's an incomplete pass. The thing is, he's got a wide open gap there that he's standing in. The offensive line was they gave him an unbelievable. They had a wall on the left and a wall on the right. He looks at Thomas, and as soon as Thomas, I mean, he looks right at him, but then he bailed out and ran right into the fucking defensive end, who's double teamed, and then had to make that piss poor throw. The whole thing right now is eluding him. And and I, I try to say about coaching all the time, but, you know, we're never prepared. We're never prepared. You hear Ron say the word forcing it. We're forcing it. Dude, Curtis Samuel drops that pass on the first play of the fucking game. Are we ready to play football? We come out on the second play of the game, and I know Logan Thomas should catch that pass, but that's a hard catch, man. He's fucking flinging that ball from eight yards away right through his back shoulder pad. Bam. Oh, yeah, they're, I don't. They're, they're tight. Go ahead. No, I was uh, uh, Yam uh, put a comment in chat. He says, "I think Sam's done. Call it what you will, but I put very little blame on him directly." And I agree with you a hundred percent, Yam. There's a third. Um, look, we we know coming in, and even if we dra- uh, draft a brand new shiny quarterback next year, there's going to be growing pains. Um, mm-hmm. But the thing about it is, the staff did not do anything to help him grow. Um, it, it's 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 sad, really, because Sam does have talent. We've seen that. We've seen this on he the does. field in play against good teams, uh, you know, against the Philadelphia Eagles. Um, are they as good as, you know, they were last year? No, but they're still a good team. Um, but the fact of the matter is they didn't pr- protect them. Uh, they, they, they didn't, you know, game plan around the deficiencies of the team and help the the young guy grow. Um, and, and now, you know, we're, we're going to be starting pretty much from scratch all over again, yep. all, all over again. I think we're all looking forward to that, though. So, Scott, you were just saying yes, a minute ago about how four weeks ago he, he was a different quarterback. And I'd say six weeks ago. Yeah, you're right. He's much different. Okay. Quarterback. So, given that yesterday was the most dismal first quarter you've seen or quarter you've seen this year, I mean, how is it that they come out against a team that they should be able – here was that word again – should, right? This is a terrible offense with Trevor Seaman at the fucking helm. You know, and we, we can't get anything going – to try to do anything with them. They beat the living shit out of us because we come out so tight. Why is this happening to him? Why is Sam, I mean, you know, give me why. 
that I, I don't I, I can't give you an answer why it's it's like it's a, it's its own team um we wanted to see the young guys play yeah they didn't give up that's one thing I can say they didn't give up because we did come back a bit towards the end of the of the game and, and, I'm, and I'm, I'm great with that I'm great with that that we didn't didn't give up as a, as such but we didn't get a single sack yesterday we had two tackles for loss for the entire game two mm-hmm. one was David against the worst offensive line mm-hmm. than the one that we right. have. One Correct. that you said, and I Correct. quote, where do you see these guys? You think yeah. our line's bad? Where do you see the Jets? We, we, we rarely true. pressured C- uh, Simeon. We rarely pressured None. Him they all. were running the ball None. pretty well, too, at least in the first half. Second half, we did clamp down. They only scored what? Uh, what did they have in the first half? 27? No, not 27. They had 20. Uh, 17, 17, 17 by the end of the quarter one. But tw- all right. uh, looking at this, it's, it's one of them, John, where I think now the whole entire team knows that – this is getting blown up. They knew it probably going into the season, oh. but they didn't play like that going into the season. But especially these last four weeks, mm. it's been clearly evident since Jack got his firing that the, that it was going to hell in, a, hell in a handbasket because there's nothing we can do to make this any better because in honest, honestly, it's a shit football team. This is the worst roster we have had in a long, long time. Every single player on there. He's not elite. Show me and tell me where we have an elite player, where we have talent to build around. Because I'm struggling to find anybody, maybe mm-hmm. two, possibly. And you've got to keep your, your your draft class from last season. So you've got to say they're going to stay. But the rest of it is, is like, honestly, it is a complete and utter total rebuild. So don't be expecting us to sit here in a year's time and say, wow, look at how good we are. Because this is going to take another two to three years to build this back round again. Unfortunately, we know we've got a huge high cap space. We know we can probably sign two major signings and make make holes that, that would be fill holes with that 90 million that we've got. But that's got to go around, as Jesse said, by a lot of players. You know, 26 mm-hmm. are just off straight away. And that's not including players you could cut off the roster currently. I um, mean, you know, Benjamin St. Juice is only due 280 grand. Charles Leno, you can save seven and a half million against the cap. So there's two straight away. You could probably say, yeah, they're gone. And mm-hmm. you know it's it, it, it and no one in this team or in this ownership group or in this new regime that's going to come in has any loyalty to anybody on this team, which is why for me this is going to take two years to rebuild. I hate the word rebuild because I want to win. Because all we ever do, but there's nothing. That's all you ever yeah, do is, until you do this, win. That's all it's, anybody it's does. Per, it's perpetual motion until you get to seven wins, and that's mm-hmm. all I, I, we've been able to do under Ron. I'll say this because you just brought Leno's mm-hmm. name up. If we draft a quarterback in the first round, Leno's staying on this team, and he's going to be either left or right tackle. That's yep. it, it's you have to, yep. you have to, you have to. You're, yeah. you're not the, the the left tackle is available in free agency. There's, There's never quality. Any, no, and ones that that are aren't quality, and uh, they're old. Yeah, exactly. So you're going to get a, a left tackle more experienced or, or better than Leno in the second, third, fourth round. I doubt yeah, that very yeah, seriously. Very seriously too. Yeah, no. yeah. We could sign Jason Peters. He'll be <laughs> only what? 43. <laughs> yeah. like that. I mean, you could go, you could go down the free agency route, but it's a gamble. Yeah. That's the thing about left tackles. Quality left tackles do not come available. We got no, lucky with Leno. I don't know why the Bears did what they did and let him go. And we got lucky by picking him up and we got some service out of him that was quality. But he's not the kind of left tackle that you need as a cornerstone player, which is typically what your left tackle is. And I see a lot of these people that are over there talking on social media about, okay, well, which left, which left tackles, you know, won MVPs or which ones did, and they don't, okay? They're enablers. They enable other guys to do that kind of shit. And when you look down the list of all these great players, there's 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 quality players underneath them that boost them up. And whether or not we go quarterback, which I'm pretty doggone sure we are, it just really all depends I on what the Bears. I think it's certain now. There's a tweet that uh, has been going around. Actually, two different people said it. Uh, Adam Aniba and um, what's Logan Paulson's co- uh, co-host? Uh, oh, uh, it'll be a Craig Hoffman. Craig Hoffman. Um, he he said he said something today that that uh, you know I found very interesting. I agree with 100. percent It's not about uh, uh, the quarterback per se. It's about what you value at this. At, at, you know at the third pick or whatever, you know, right. or do you want the third best pick in a uh, third best quarterback in the draft? Cause most likely Williams and, and may are going to go one, two, or do you want to get um, go safe and go get that quality 
um, potential all pro left tackle that's going to be around because no matter what you do, no matter what quarterback you get, even the top three quarterbacks, they're going to be crap shoots. Let me so go ahead. Speaking of a so crap I'm looking shoot, at this and go on, go on, John. Let, let, let me throw this little at you real quick. What if you take the Bears' second round pick and trade it back to him for Justin Fields? Or, That's what I'm saying. I mean, right? Look, <laughs> I'd give, a, little, I'd I'm give like, a third round pick for Justin Fields. Not a right, no, I, I, the words, I'm just saying. Fields are murder. Right 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 out of my mouth. Available. They're not old guys. I, honestly, no. I like the I yeah. like what I see out of Fields and Murray. Okay, even great. though he's a little putz, we've we've like we've seen out of him, but. You know, if we get no, it, it, back, that, that's definitely an field. option. And yeah. another option is, you know, Penix or, or Nix in the second round. Yeah. Penix. You know? yeah. But you will Penix roll is... dice a little bit with the knees, but at least you're not giving up that you're doing a first, uh, you know, a, a, a first round pick for a Jaden Daniels, which I'm sorry. I, I, I yeah. want no we could sign that other quarter. If not Penix, we could sign Vagina or something like that. I mean, I'm telling you what, there's a reason why you don't want a guy named Penix, and it's because all the Cowboys fans will have easy jokes. Even those pinheads can think of easy jokes to go with Penix. Do you really think, though, that um, that the Bears are going to go that route? And they're going to go and take a K. Dude, Williams or a drop I'll tell you what. I don't know. It's hard to say. Fields is making it hard for him to do that. Yeah, you know? he is. And, and he is. You know, they they could serve well to go with, uh, you know, Marvis Harrison Jr. to, to pair so with – uh, to pair um, with DJ Moore, yeah, uh, DJ Moore, that. yeah, or even to go with one of those tackles because Fields have has you know played well the second half of the season. Ever since he came back from injury, he's been playing mm -hmm. a lot mm -hmm. better. Their um, running game is pretty good. So who knows what's there? There's there's a lot of what ifs going on in this draft, right? Now. Yeah, I mean, you know, if 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 it's at the we're at third and we are going to pick third, and we know that there's potential for them to top two QBs to be gone by that stage. I think you've got to try and look to trade back even, not even a little bit, even if it's the fourth or, you know, and you're still in that top four scenario. And But you know, if, maybe... if you really want, if you really want that quarterback, you might have to trade up because you're going to be vying oh with other God. teams. You, you know, other teams are going to be calling the Bears. Um, yeah, they are. They're going to be calling the Cardinals. Be like, hey, do y'all really want to? You know, you, 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 hey, y'all should roll with you know Fields and, and and Murray for one more year. We'll give you three first round picks. This, this That's is what I, I don't want to do is give up that much. Right. Well, see, this no, is where I, I am. Is, is there is there anybody in this quarterback class that's actually worth that kind of a fucking thing? Drake May and, and Williams are the only two quarterbacks that I would go I, in the yeah. first round for. Only it's just because they're the only two this year. I mean, are they even? You know what I'm saying? It's, I don't it, know what their standard is. There of anybody who they've that is, John? What's that? I don't know what the standard of who they've played against. I mean, Caleb Williams is he in the pack. Is he in the pack. He's in the pack twelve. Pack twelve. But he's yeah. supposed to be special. I don't like his off the field demeanor. No. I think he's no, I he's, like he's young. Either. I think he's uh, he's uh, you know very Washington very fan, but th yeah, there's right. no doubt that he has talent. He has plenty. Of, he makes he makes some fucking throws that you're like, what the hell? Like, well, what yeah. the fuck? He doesn't make them in any clutch situations against big football teams. He has a guy to go into a bowl, bowl game or anything like that. And honestly, well, another thing too is he has nobody around him. I get whatsoever. it. Whatever. He doesn't have a team. His team's shit. Okay. Yeah, so you gotta kind of look at it that this way. Where I'm thinking, I'd feel more safer with May than anybody else. To be honest, for me, I st I'm still on the Joe Alt bandwagon because honestly, so I are. just don't like any of these quarterbacks enough to say this is the guy that's going to be the guy for the next ten years. <laughs> I just don't. I mean, it, it makes sense. It makes perfect sense. But listen, I was talking with one of these I, nonstop today. Right, the guys that nonstop with the fucking oh, Sam House sucks, and let me tell you what you gotta do. You gotta draft this guy and this guy only. One of those nonstops, dude, twenty four seven. And I forgot my fucking point. But we drafted Dwayne Haskins at number fifteen, right? The Bengals they drafted yeah. a left tackle at number eleven that year. All right, Dwayne Haskins was sitting there. He was a one flash wonder, just like what you know what we see at down in LSU right now. Um, and then the next year they got Burrow. All right, they they took the left tackle and they went so bad that they got the number one overall pick and they took Burrow. All right, so <laughs> what are we well, looking at? Hurt, I think year? it's his uh, rookie year too, so it's not. It's, Doesn't matter though, does it? What what John think? What you're saying there is exactly right. That players and teams tend to go. We'll put the the building blocks around you, and then we'll find that quarterback, which is what I wanted to do, and we I hope that Sam was the up. guy to do that. Well, well who what, is coming what, up next what, year? What about playing Jacoby for another year? Yeah, I don't mind that. 
Honestly, I think you know, he. I think he now is trying base, to. This, uh, this he's thing. becoming a priority base, signing. Patient enough for that. What Sam about Sam Howell's third? Sam Howell's third string. Yeah, but what, let's let's say let's say let's say Sam Howell is totally fucking done. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Totally fucking Making done. Third string. You got Williams and Mays off the board. What do you do? Yep. Mm-hmm. What are you going to do at the quarterback position? Because Sam Howell's not not, not, not it. You're going you're going to play Brissett. Well, you know. I mean, I would. I don't think there's there's nothing else out there that probably, yeah, probably would yeah, help. I, I, help I, I, but if, or or do you want to you know win eight or nine games and have a mid draft you know mid pick next year? You know, we're going to be in the same spot as we as we have been year in and year out. This or is you, or you have two Carolina Tar Heels, one replacing the other. Yeah, yeah, but like I was saying, yeah. like like how often are we in this position to to pick this high? You know, not very often at, at all, honestly. Last time I can remember being up this high would be with Robert Griffin the third. We traded a bunch to get up there. <coughs> Excuse me, oh, Chase Young. AJ thinks right here. Chase Young, we were. Yeah, I agree. Two. I agree with AJ. I was yeah. going to say it's a great good for comment. A front there. office, who cares what the fucking th- uh, fans think? I agree Thank with you. you 100%. Fans are stupid. We are stupid. All right, yeah. and that, I'm pointing it directly at all of us. We are. Yeah. stupid. Yeah, we, so don't we, we have a saying, and we appreciate being on the podcast. <laughs> if this is your first time, we say this a lot. Fans are stupid, and that's including us. Fans are stupid. Look, we don't know. Because we, we all have we have daft takes, won't we? We all have stupid takes. We all want different things. We all want, you know, to see what's best for this team. But we're not GMs. We're, we're, we're not there. GMs at best. Right? Yeah. We're not sitting in there. I've, I, like I said, this guy's been talking to me about the Bengals all damn day from yesterday on. He's telling me what their plans were in 20 fucking 18, 2019. I'm like, how the hell do you know what the fuck I were? You're just trying to make this make your make your point, which yeah, yeah, I know. His point is, I want Jaden Williams or uh, Jaden Daniels or whatever the fuck his name is. Whatever no, the fuck I don't want Jaden. I don't want him either. Nothing to do with no. it. Nothing. To I don't do want him either. Either. Only because. If Jaden Daniels was this talented and he was this kind of guy that you go in, you know what? He is absolutely the best thing we've ever seen since sliced bread. He's a generational talent. All this this nonsense they come out with. Why was no one talking about him a month ago? And I don't he wins know. The Heisman, and then he wins the I, Heisman Trophy and everyone's going mad. Ago. Yeah. <laughs> Flash the pan. Look, I'll tell you what, Scott. You keep saying this phrase, uh, the best thing since sliced bread. And I got to tell you, man, you guys really should mm-hmm. check out what's been happening in the world for the last 400 years. Oh, I know. <laughs> There's I know a lot of better <laughs> shit than that right now. <laughs> I want to talk about uh, a comment that uh, Yam made in the chat. He says, if you notice, yep. when Jacoby was uh, in the game, yep. they managed to run more. Um, part of that is the quality of Jaco- uh, Jacoby, uh, but no denying that the play calling was altered in the game a little bit. And and I saw some back and forth about this on, uh, you know, social media mm-hmm. as the game went on and when it was over with. And and I tend to agree a little bit, man. We did start running the ball very effectively in the second half of the game. We yeah. did. So, so but, where was it? Where is this when Sam's in the game? Well, they don't. Where has this been when Sam has been in the game? They don't run it. And I mean, look at the first two pass plays. For I mean, first two plays: pass, pass, interception. Right. Come back out right after they score: pass, pass, pass. All right. They don't run the ball well in the first half. We run the ball well in the second half because that's when we start to run the ball. And by then, we're here. I wrote a Christmas song, if it's all right with y'all. Can I sing a couple of stanzas of my Christmas song? (laughs) All right, John. All right. All right. Let me. This is to the the tune of uh, Rocking Around the Christmas Tree, I think it is. Nice. All right. So, do, 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 do. Oh, this is, by the way, from the perspective of the fans and. Ron, uh, one, two, three, but um, bump, bump, fucking around with this football game on a Sunday afternoon. Ron doesn't care if we win or we lose, he just hopes it's over soon. Passing it left, and we're passing it right. EB is passing it all over the joint. He won't run the ball till the second half, and we're down by 30 points. So that's why. It's true. It ain't a swell time. Sign that fucking record deal time soon. To watch them lose this way. But I don't oh, mind, man. and it'll be fine when all of them are fired on January eighth. Right. <laughs> also, uh, Yam also said, and I, I heard this too. And the, uh, the Jets cornerback admitted that when Jacoby uh, was in, they yeah. changed it. They played sure. all in in like. I mean, they started to run the ball. There's there's questions the that need to play. be asked by this fucking media. 
you know, that, that they totally missed the point on, on some some of these things. So, mm-hmm. yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd truly like that. And, and I'm sorry, I love Doc Walker, but what he said on the radio is fucking bullshit uh, <laughs> about fucking wanting he, him really wanting EB back and in control of this team. No. Fuck no. Get the fuck out of here. Done with that motherfucker. When the polar bear gets up on the bureau, that's when you know things in trouble. Man, he gets he, he's he's been hitting the head too many times. <laughs> all there is to it. There. He's he's right. I I want I want him gone. Eb yeah. the experiment hasn't worked. It's, it's um, terrible. terrible. I think just, the play calling probably yeah. changes because I said it last week. When when Brissett comes in, that extra three inches of height is very tall. Because whether Sam is only six foot and, and we're six one and we're help him six four, hand him up, though, man. Well, but, uh, for one, EB does that. He runs the ball in the second half. We always have. We've said this since fucking week goddamn one. Why are we always? Why don't we do this earlier in the game? This is how he does it. We also had a back on Sunday that was a spark plug, man. I'll tell you what. C. Rodriguez got well, off on he Sunday. Also got I, hurt. I, he got hurt. I don't, how was how serious is his injury? He was I in the walking boot. No. He got hurt and Quan Martin got hurt, which I thought he also had a pretty good game, yeah. but I don't want to get to the defense I'll, yet. I'll go on, I'll, I'll go on, I'll go on back to what we talked about before. It's about maturation it's a, of a quarterback. Right. It's about is Sam the guy? Is he not the guy? If you're asking him, it looked almost like we regress back to the first four weeks of the season where he was asking, yeah. he was asking, he was, uh, EB was asking Sam to go five drops, seven drops, seven drops, seven drops yeah. all the time. Now, it's, it isn't just EB's fault either, because if you look at the play, you brought it up, John, as well. He had a really oh, nice pocket at times. He had a really nice pocket at times. Mm-hmm. He would not stay in the pocket. And he, he oh, died right. out the minute. The second he thought, I, this isn't on off my first read, I'm gone. I'm bailing right. out to the side. And that is a bad of- thing to see when, you, when you're thinking, do you know what? Why are you constantly bailing out here? Your feet aren't set. That's not EB's fault either. But, but see, EB's this is where I think calling the play calling has not helped it has not helped in any way, shape, or form. No. Now, I we have it... to go back to Ron's roster building. Ron saying, we're close. We're there. We're, we're, we're maturing. We, and you, you said it many a time, John. How many players are we going to draft that are going to be four, five, six years before they even start? Before they even look the like fucking they're playing? Because this team is awful. You, you're telling me that Wiley and Cosby, oh, sorry, Wiley and freaking Nick Gates were, you, were your standout no. signings of the season. No. Wow. Nick, I mean, come Nick on Gates now. again I mean, yesterday it, was fucking bad. But at the same what, time, what, what I was trying to say about why the play calling, I think, is I, I don't know that it's different. It's just that Jacoby knows how to work a pocket. When when I said about he's 6'4 and Sam is 6'0, 6'1, that three or four inches is a lot different because Sam goes down, his yep. legs get wide, he drops another three inches. Where Brissett, you see him, he stands up there, man. When he delivers a pass down the field, you think that the pocket's cleaner, but you look at that play that Jamal put up there today that we were talking about a minute ago, or a little while ago about the, uh, the the little slip that Logan Thomas had, and he bails out the back. He has a beautiful pocket. He's got two guys on the end over here, and and two guys over on the uh, fucking the, the guard in the center are taking the rest of the line out of the play. He's got a beautiful pocket, and he's he doesn't know what to do with it. His awareness has gone right downhill. So when yes, play calling shot. changes, I don't know that Agreed, it changes Jesse. so much. It changes in that we run the ball in the second half, and we've done that all year. And it also changes in that I think it it just looks better because he plays it better. Brissett plays it better from the pocket. He knows what he's doing. And go ahead. Two things. Two things. Indictment on EB. One is we did, as you've said before, both of you, we didn't even look to do the run game in preseason. Nothing. No. Didn't, didn't even practice try it. it. Didn't practice it. Didn't do anything. Yard. Look at us yep. try to get shocking. Yard. Shocking. I'll tell you what, they, did you see uh, on the broadcast, they did show the sidelines for a minute and they were talking about, God damn it, I hate Spiro Ditas. Well, we'll get him in a second. <laughs> nice shot of EB there at the end. <laughs> yeah. Look. I just, I just, I don't know. I, I really, really hope that Sam was going to be the guy that all our prayers were going to be answered. And after a few games, I thought, yeah, we can cope with this. He doesn't have to have an amazing season. Just has to be bang average mid, midway. Right. Is what we, we asked for. Well, we saw the pro- progression and then the fucking just down. Just dropped off. Fucking... Just dropped, gone. These kind of, well, because Scott, you kept saying, you kept, it was like a running tally. How many sacks he's on pace for? Well, these kinds of seasons, yep. man, they, they take a toll on a guy. And even as tough as you are, 
Uh, you can see now. You said so yourself. He's got that faraway look in his eye. He doesn't but quite, yeah, start, and he doesn't see did, what's going did, on around him. Did plateau and it went down, you know, a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, after those first first, you know, five six games, uh, he got better with that. But yeah, you know, a, as the season went on, um, I mean, in that stretch of four games where he did really really good. I mean, you know, one two three times a game, and that's that's normal for for teams getting sacked three right. times a game. I think as as the better defense we play, they just started teeing off on him more and more and more, and he'd wait and hold the ball and, and then wind up getting hit, and he's just, he's just taking too many hits. And yeah, I'm, you're right. I don't I don't. He's broken right now, and I don't know if it's fixable. I don't. A, a lot of times when you see these quarterbacks that take these seasons like this, they don't come back well from it. Yeah. But at the same time, he didn't get help from his offensive line for one, and he didn't get help from his offensive coordinator to call plays that would try to protect him from that stuff and utilize what he does best all right so i tell you what we're at the half hour mark scott's been whipping my ass about the freaking you know, we got to stop at a one hour god we got to stop at a one hour I don't know, <laughs> eight or something like that over there so uh so we're going to try to do that I'm but before that we're just to just to shift this over into that for the people who joined us late um our owner checked in on sunday meditations with magic johnson it is the holidays and it is at this time of year that i like to say happy holidays because it is the holidays, and you are supposed to be happy. But I am not happy. On Christmas Eve, I watched my commanders lose to the Jets, and that is not good. But now people tell me it is good to lose so we can get a quarterback. I do not want a quarterback. I want all of my money back. I don't think this team even knows how to play football. This is some shit that I have gotten myself into. All right, so I love that line. I don't want a quarterback. I want my money back. That's amazing. I'll give you right. that. That that's, is brilliant. That's a fucking sixth grade joke. Quarterback. <laughs> mm. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, I guess what we can do is we can start off real quick with some butt pats and head smacks. So yeah, uh, yeah, let, me, let me see if I got my sound effects proper here. All that kind of shit. So uh, uh, there we butt go. Pats. Out of boy. Head smacks. Get out of here. I know it's such a small thing, but it makes all the difference in the world, don't you think? I think so. All right, so we'll start with you, Jesse, on offense. Who gets your first butt pad of the day? Um, Jacoby Brissett. I mean, he came Not in and, and did what he had to do. Uh, did what he had to do. Awesome. Go ahead, uh, Scotty. You get your first butt pad of the day on offense. Um, yeah, I'll take the low hanging fruit. It's Chris Chris Rodriguez. Uh, Ted. 10 for 58, two touchdowns. Yeah, he, he, had a, he had a really good game. He had a really good game. He had a really good game. He hit the hole hard. He hit it with some vision. I really like that. Um, the hurdle was nice. That's the kind of stuff that can energize somebody, even though I think that everybody gets all excited about the hurdle. But you know what? When they when they don't let defenses hit you above the waist anymore, the hurdle becomes quite an easy option, man. And you see him a lot more often these days. But I liked it. I hope he's not hurt seriously. And even if he is and they put him on ice, we got ourselves a running back, two running backs for next year. So that's, that's, great. that's pretty good. Uh, I will go ahead and give a butt pat on offense. I, you know what? I didn't think that Charles Leno had a bad day. Um, no, no Leno, Leno didn't play. That's why he didn't have a bad day. There's really not a whole lot of people that I can, <laughs> I can really think of. Terry in the second half came on pretty strong. Yeah, he was okay. Yeah. Three for oh, 50, Terry stats. Second um, half all the way through. You got another one? Go Jesse. ahead. Um, Cosby. Uh, Out of all the chat. Yeah. He, 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 he did admirable. Um, I know there's one play I think he got blown up on, but you know he had he had a tall task in front of him. So mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, no no quarterback got you know hauled off on the stretcher. So got to give him uh, <laughs> one. Just got hauled I'm, off, put in timeout. <laughs> I'm gonna go. A, I'm gonna go. Ag Antonio Gibson nine for thirty, one touchdown. Yeah, that's up for yeah, him. Yeah, you know, not one man, game. So yeah, good, good, good. touchdown of the year, right? And, and look. I know there's this argument and fucking Mark Tyler is starting shit again about uh, Lucas being better than uh, than Leno. And I hate to tell you, Lucas was not good yesterday. Uh, it was, it and, was and there's a reason why he, Wiley and, and Leno are starting ahead of him. Um, I mean, maybe not Wiley, but Lucas is not a long term answer. And, and I would not want Lucas uh, at left tackle for more than a game or two. Um, so yeah, just. Putting that out there. 
I'll give an honor. Dotson had a nice catch. Dotson had a really nice. He did have a nice catch. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. You actually going to give? uh, You going to get? What about Logan Thomas? Five for thirty-six and a touchdown. No, he closed that. He he closed the pad. Something didn't he? Um, Did he drop that in that that first first uh, interception? He did. Uh, He did. So So maybe maybe the hat tip then. It offsets. I said earlier in the game that's a tough catch to make, but you're a pro. You got to make that. Yeah, you yeah. Know, right. Sam did throw that as hard as he could, right? At his and, and I, I, I don't fault for Sam for any of the two interceptions. To be mm-hmm. honest with you, I, I mean, Logan should have caught that, and unfortunately, Sam, I mean, Samuel slipped on that. Uh, you know, while while the ball was coming out of Sam's yeah. hand, so we had a lot of guys slipping on Sunday. Uh, you know, life, man, MetLife Stadium fucking sucks. Yeah, I don't know what they made their field out of. It's made of silk. That's great. All right, so uh, let's go to uh, some some head smacks on offense. Go ahead, oh. Jesse. Give me your first head smack for the offensive side of the football. Uh, I hate to pile on Sam like this, but you know, Sam Howell. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you have to. He was he was bad. Uh, his yeah. when you say when you hear like I said, forcing it. That that second play of the game was a perfect example of forcing it. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and Scotty, you're up first. Go ahead. Do no, you go, you go, mate. Honestly, you go. Uh, go I'll wait for you. Eric, Eric the enemy. I mean, in the second yeah. half, your play calling I don't think really changed all that much. I just think that your guy that was running it changed, and that that made all the difference in the world. The oh, the fact that he always runs the ball in the second half is nothing it, new. It needs to be. It, it just needs. It, he needs to get get the running game consistent, man. And then, and that just takes the pressure off of your quarterback. You, a, 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 how to help young quarterbacks the best is have a good run game. Good run and, game. Yeah. Right. Short passing good game. Run. But you see again yesterday, nobody has to respect anything deep because they're not going to be able to get the ball back there long enough. Sam will hold the yeah. ball too long or he'll miss the read. He'll, he'll, he's doing this zeroing in on one read again. So, uh, they don't have to cover deep. They just they just sit in these relatively yeah. intermediate umbrellas and just tackle as soon as we get the ball or knock it or knock it down. From but the when beginning, when I say EB, sorry, when I say EB, coaching other than calling plays is getting your team ready to play. Yeah. And I see Curtis yeah. Samuel dropping the ball on the first play of the game. I see Sam Howe coming out as tight as a virgin's asshole. It doesn't Very make tight. any sense. I mean, yeah, honestly, it's, it's not as tight as Jesse's. Look, apparently, he is a sloppy if bollock. Look, if you look at, um, if you look at uh, sloppy bollocks, and if you look at um, the tight end room, what the fuck? Where are they? Where are they? Well, you saw yeah, John yeah. Bates with his fucking two pairs of hams that he's got out there yeah, for hands. Yeah, yeah there's a mini drop balls, mini drop balls. Send, yeah. send out a search party for Cole Turner. My God, that guy's been inactive more ready, times than yeah. I've been at the game. He's not yeah, ready. They only drafted him years ago. He's, he's nowhere near ready to play. Yeah, I just don't think he digested the uh, the the, uh, the the playbook. I guess it seems because he's got talent. Anyways, I think from the beginning, and, and uh, another problem that that did Sam no favors. Uh, they were all about winning games um, and not about developing the quarterback. You know, I, yeah, I, I think they, they concentrated the too much in the early in the season, and, and this this season should about it should have been. Um, you know, Ron and, and EB both, you know, should have had multiple sit downs with uh, Josh Harrison and just tell him, like, look, we're not going to worry about winning games. We're worrying about developing this quarterback and doing it the right way. And they failed. They they fucking failed. Him. And I yeah. bet if they saw if this ownership would have saw progress in this team uh, all the way going up to the end, not just a little spurt in the middle, you know, of, of good quarterback play, but continuous pro- progress. I, they would have got another year. I think they would have got another another year. At least EB would have. You know, he might get one anyway. You never know. Like I said, my theory of uh, Roger Goodell saying ahead of time, look, this is going to be still out there on the table because, you know, I think that they do that kind of shit. Uh, I, I, I seriously think about it. I hope not. I hope not. Because, yeah, I'm, I'm – the thing about the – the offense with EB is it doesn't seem to have any real rhyme or reason. Nothing it, sets up anything. When you when you said like you said about a real a, a running game, first fucking play of the game, they're gonna try to throw it out there to Samuel with this another quick little hit or shit. They're, and everybody's crowding up on the line. So it's really not gonna work well. anyway. They don't. And, run- and everybody thought you know, and, and, and to an extent, sure it was, and I think it's predictable for 
uh, for a number of reasons about Scott Turner's offense, but this offense is, I mean, it's, it's going to be a couple of plays, man. It's, it's, it's very predictable. I mean, when they line up, we, a lot of times we know what's coming. And if we know what's coming that we don't sit down and watch hours and hours of film, like these other NFL coaches and, and players do, you know, damn well, the other team knows what knows what's, what's coming. It's, it's, yeah, of course they do. it's kind of pathetic from this, this yeah. guru offensive guru. That's, you know, Coming from uh, Kansas City, uh, I just I, well, I just we're passing it right. left and we're passing it right. He's going to pass it all over the joint. Yeah, I just I just don't see how anybody anybody, including Doc Water, Doc Water, thinks he should be a head coach. I'm sorry. I, I mean, know, maybe maybe he's a leader, may, maybe that, but he shouldn't be calling fucking plays. <laughs> I don't I don't see that either. I don't see right? that either. I, I see a lot of people right now calling these players soft. Well, you know what. Maybe here's the bottom line about what you think is soft. All right. It's it's not 1967 anymore. Okay. It's not the same as it used to be anymore. And if you see that, oh, our players are soft, but you don't see anybody else in the league that does that kind of shit, that, that carries that fucking hard ass attitude out onto the field. You don't see anybody else in the league with this kind of reputation. 14, co- 14 teams have said, no, thanks. We don't want you for our head coach. You see our players are not responding to it. No. And but you're going to sit there and go call them soft. You know what's soft? Your fucking head is soft. You can't put two and two together and realize that what you think should be actual real coaching isn't working. Yeah. You know, mm. this ain't some fucking TV show where, you know, coach has a goddamn gray sweatshirt on and a pair of shorts hiked up past his balls and his fucking whistle <laughs> in his mouth. Blonsky, get over here. You ain't getting no water today. That's just, it's fucking ridiculous. Yeah. So, yeah. you know. And, you, you know, good coaches, when they, when, when, when they, uh, realize something isn't working they change it they work on it coaches they it's not the way that used to be like you said or like i just said coaches now are as part of as much a part of the team as the team itself the players go out and play but it's not that way anymore they don't go out there and the fucking quarterback calls the plays like they used to and it hasn't been that way for a long time now the coaches are as much of a team that helps mm-hmm. the team as anything else all right, all that teaching and all that, that's for the off season and that's for fucking Tuesday and Wednesday, right? Wednesday and Thursday. Friday's for walkthrough. But it's it's a whole fucking thing that, that makes the thing go. It's a machine that makes the thing go. And they just have failed on every aspect of this fucking coaching staff from top yeah. to bottom to yeah. be able to do anything like that. This Let me ask y'all this. Bad. Go ahead. Who should start next? these next two games? Well, let's do some true or false here. I got a couple of questions for there. So we'll start with you, Jesse. True or false? Sam Howell will start versus the 49ers. I'm going to say false, which I think it's should be true, but I think it's going to be false. And actually, no, I think it should, I think it's going to be false and it should be false. Uh, you, you got to set up this next regime and find out what, uh, what they really have. Um, give players like, uh, you know, McLaurin and Dodson and Samuel, a chance um try to put some 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 film out there with a competent quarterback and 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 really see how this offense goes all right all right uh let's see uh scotty uh christian mccaffrey over or under three touchdowns oh um oh over or under three i'll go with i'll go with two and a half exactly two and a half if you went two and a half, that's an interesting one. I, I think three. I think he gets. No, nah, I, I, I pulled don't the number out of my ass. So on, you, you either get by saying over and under three, you, he either gets two or four touchdowns. Or he gets four. <laughs> yeah, right. That's why, that's why he's well, he ain't getting four. four. He ain't getting four. So I think he gets three. I, I think, think he gets, gets two. three. All right. I don't know. I think he gets none. We're gonna kick his ass. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> Making fumbles. Yeah. Time. Okay. Okay. Uh, anyway, we're yeah. gonna be pissed Dude. off after that yeah. fucking poor offensive. Can we showing. go? Can we go back right. to heads on defense and and can we do special teams this week, please? As well? I will. One more true or false. I'll give it to you, Scott, since you're so fucking impatient. True or false? Yeah, Trent right. Williams gives up a sack. Oh, that's a false. All right. We can't, All right so look, we, if we can get two, if we can only get two tackles for loss against the Jets. Okay. Fucking no chance. What are you doing? These the the statues. Might as well you'd be better off putting four cones out in front, five cones out in front and just saying Dude. get on with it. <laughs> Fucking four bags of sand. You know what I mean? It's just not doing and anything. That, and that's got you want you want to give some head smacks to the defense? Yeah. yeah well, and, we, haven't given, pats, we haven't even given our uh, our butt pads to the defense. So go ahead and let's start with butt pads. Uh, what, 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 what butt pads have you got? 
Yeah, I'm good. I'll give one to Quan Martin. I thought he played well. I thought okay. he's he's starting to he's you know it wasn't like you know playing well like he got an interception and, one. but one. he played Barton didn't have didn't a bad care. game either. Barton hey, guys, was up and was down, but Barton had some but okay. The rest plays. of the defense, uh, you know, Kaliki Hudson was flying around. I'll give him that. Damn, Damn. <laughs> oh, fresh one. I mean, Cody Barton. Barton. Cody Barton, you're right, Jesse. He's probably my only butt pat. I mean, 52 yards return on an interception. Ah, yeah, you gotta give him a bit of a a, a butt pat. Yeah. That was a good play. Kaliki Hudson was flying around. He was at least fired up and ready to play, it seemed like. Sometimes he got out of position. Oh, maybe do you give him for two hill for a fumble recovery? No, because I'll tell you what, Mr. Fucking Two Hill. We're down fucking 17 to nothing. That motherfucker's running down there. Goddamn- hey, let's everybody that. celebrate my fumble. We're getting our ass kicked by the goddamn New York Jets. I, yeah, I don't think anybody should do any celebrating when they're down more than two scores that. ever. I hate it. You know, so I was wondering if you jump up insane. and say, "Hey, I got the ball. Look, we're up, we're down seventeen to nothing. Let's go, boys!" Yeah, but to run down there and do your stupid little fucking. We we've been not ah, that dude. or you you break up a pass and do the lockdown when you're down oh, forty seven oh, points or some shit. Right? And, and this guy's already got one hundred fifty <laughs> yards, two touchdowns. Yeah, on plays, you. you know, the thing about it is, you hill ran down to do that thing because they've been waiting to do it all fucking year. They just haven't had a chance to do anything. All right, so uh, Jesse, you have any butt pats on defense at all? Mm-mm. No. Nope. All right. Well, then let's go to the heads. I mean, it, Cody Barton got a hat tip, but yeah, that's what I mean, Cody Barton. I, I I would give him an actual butt pat. I mean, fair play. That was a yeah. that was a turn a, a turning point. If we'd have held on and won, that it was would, you know that changed everything. But um, all right, so we'll go on to uh, butt or, or heads max on defense. Go ahead, Jesse. I mean. Secondary the whole day. Second yeah, the whole every the whole day. I'm gonna do a kick do a keep and just get a whole day. <laughs> Dude, why is it trash? Benjamin St. Juice sucks. All right, oh, for whatever bad. fucking reason. Yes. This guy can't stop anything. He gets victimized, and quarterbacks know it. They go at him like crazy. We drafted a Emmanuel Forbes in the first round. We laid him out there to fucking die against some of the best wide receivers in the goddamn league. So they bench right. him. They put him in six plays last week after he comes back from being hurt, and he can't even get on the field until Benjamin St. Juiced gets his little fucking melon hurt and has to sit there on the ground. Oh, my God, I got a headache. <laughs> and that's when they let him play. This is Ron was like, oh, dude, we drafted this guy in the first round. He'll be ready in 2036, I guess. And I thought he did well against Garrett Wilson. Uh, he was okay. Day, you know? Yeah. Uh, yeah I, mean, I, I just went, I went Forbes with a quality – I think it would have been a much different story if we had uh what's his name back coach in the secondary. Yeah, well, I, I wonder. Harris. I wonder Harris, what if Harris. what if Ron fires because I noticed they were aggressive on there was there was a few blitzes there were a few all out blitzes that they had they played well in that regard that they tried. If Ron fires Jack Del Rio last summer and calls the defense himself this year, you think it's any different? Not at all. None, zero. Not at all. There's been there's been zero. Look look at the statistics since Jack left. We haven't even got a sack. Not one. No, I know. Not one sack. Oh, if that reminds you, Jack, Jerome when Payne Jack had, left, Jerome Payne had two. defensive ends too. So Dur- you know. Dur- 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 Payne had two sacks. I apologize. So no, um, but I mean, look at it yesterday. Two tackles for loss. James Smith Williams and one for David Mayer. That's it. No sacks, nothing. We're playing a guy who's the third string quarterback who gets 273 yards against us. 30 points to the Jets, who've never mm-hmm. scored a touchdown all season in right. the first quarter. And we're Actually, losing this was the second nil. time they did. They did uh, earlier on. Have okay. you noticed during the course of this season? We how are many shite. Times, how many times have you noticed that the fucking announcer for where the football game is for whatever player or whatever team we're playing against? This is the first time since the you know week six of two thousand Can Curl's dick last night or the, uh, the other day. Every every goddamn person does their has their fucking career day against us this year. Yeah. Speaking, of, because, I said Spiro because Diaz. we are always the get the get right yeah. game, John. We're the get everybody. right everybody. We are. We're the get right crew. Uh, Spiro Didis. I don't. This is what I hate the fucking announcers and he's the worst i can't stand him he he sounds like and we'll probably get him again but everything is so forced with him he goes way up high for some exciting play but then he'll drop right back down instantly because really he, he doesn't care it's all it's all scripted for him it's all acted out and they he has no idea 
what the fuck is going on in this fucking city whatsoever. <laughs> he's out there watching Sam Howell, all right, and he gets benched. And what does he say on television? You you really hate to see this. They've got so much invested in this kid. <laughs> You fucking idiot. Fucking what do they got invested in him? About $120,000? Jesus Christ. The fuck is he talking about? I can't stand mm. it. I'll tell you what. Anyway, that's enough of me bitching. About Special it. teams. Special teams. Needs team. a mention. Needs a mention. Yeah, they, do. they do. I told you last week, and y'all looked at me like I was crazy when I said our special teams have been fucking up. And they, in order to prove my point, went right Nobody out. Nobody looked at you like you crazy. Could. I think we all agreed with you. They fucked yeah, up we did. They could. Did you really? The only thing they didn't I thought the long no. I, I, well no, I thought the long I thought the long snap right a good game. I thought That's what I said. Play. The only thing they no didn't issues. fuck up was the long no snap. Issues. Nope. The guy who's leading uh our, our leading Pro Bowl vote getter terrible Terrell Jesus Burgess Christ, gives up a fucking get a, a punt blocked. Holy shit. Tariq <laughs> what was he thinking? <laughs> <laughs> he was like counting, he was counting votes and wasn't fucking paying attention. He's an absolute. Perf- that was ridiculous. That was a ridiculous move. And then Dude, to top it, it all off, the the crowder. Oh my god, what oh. are you doing? <laughs> just fucking that? launching the ball up. I was like, he just what? threw it straight up in the air on the sidelines. That was. Crazy. Oh, I think he's, I think he was holding it and he was moving. It just like slid, yeah. popped up, like slid out, oh, like yeah. a fucking yeah, yeah. And I mean, I, I still want him here. back next year, though. I still oh, want. Yeah, him I, back do next year. I, I do too. I do too. I do too. Because that was a good run. It was it a good run. It was a return. And yeah. yeah, and then at the end of it, <laughs> whoop, whoop, whoop. but that was just indicative of the whole goddamn day. Um, you got, you you have, we stop, we, we go make them go three an hour. We, we make them punt. And Tyreek, or what's his name? I don't care. Burgess, Tyrell Burgess. Not, no, not Burgess, the other guy uh, that was caught off sides. Oh, yeah. Uh, Tyreek Castro yeah, Fields. Castro Fields. Castro Fields Jeez, got caught off side. And then yeah. that, that drive goes on for a touchdown. So, yeah. That, that, we, was, that right was he, not, inten- was he not touching or something? Intentional t- like it, 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 touching that he got done for. Who? And he, he leant forward and and it was like it was he got nicked. No, he was he was just he he just was off sides. Was yeah, he off sides? Is that yeah. what it was? Well, yeah. yeah. Know, know. Notice Patrick Mahomes and Andy Reid. We're not crying at the ref saying you should have told him. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of which, did you watch? Uh, did you watch the Chiefs use? I, I, I did watch the Chiefs game. Oh my yeah. god, it, that was that was two horrendous offenses. I don't want to talk about it, guys. Don't want to Patrick talk about it. I know, I know, the end know. of the game with his eyes all puffy and red. I gotta tell you, I, I I want to find this audio, but there was a there was a pregame thing about Patrick Mahomes and his his foundation. All right, you know how his voice is, right? How everybody thinks his voice sounds all this. It's, it's just okay, kind of a fucking frog, yeah. fucking frog. Dude, he was winning these with these kids or whatever. He's got the foundation for the kids. And he laughed. And he laughs like, ha. Ah. <laughs> like Peter Griffin. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, <laughs> like Peter Griffin. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> he does that. I, I was like, oh, my God. I'll have to find some audio. Yeah, the audio. Can we can play that. After paying attention. I gotta find you. I'm gonna find you the clip. I'm gonna find you the clip yeah. that's got ta- ta- Taylor Swift and Patrick Mahomes' wife, and they're like cuddling each other with an arm around each other and they're looking really sad. Fucking brilliant. Get Poor off dude. my screen. I don't want to see you. Poor fucking All the fucking you know haters out there, man. I, I, I just want him to keep no showing her because it takes all the conservatives and twists their panties up in a bunch so fast, and I do not understand why. They hate this person so much. It's like goddamn. I don't hate her. I just think, man, she, she just takes. She's eye candy. Over. Look at her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, know. I get it. But uh, now, they, Patrick they, Mahomes' wife. I never mind. Oh yeah. yeah. See. Yeah. Anyway, move on. We'll move on. Well, at least we haven't had to pay attention <laughs> to his brother this year. Dear, like dear they're leading Burgundy podcast. You have been sir. <laughs> 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 you know that's coming, don't you? Oh shit. Well, if we don't get one from Magic Johnson, you know. I guess that'll we'll be safe from that anyway. Well, true. All right, yeah, that's true. Yeah. So uh, let's see. We got the uh, 49ers coming up next. They've been letting uh, Chase Young play a little bit yesterday, even though they got, they got their asses handed to him by Lamar. Are Jack. you serious? He didn't what even get. Got, what did he get? Half a sack? Well, he yeah, but he didn't get got, one. He was in on the safety. The ref, the ref, the ref, the ref got in the way. Well, they're letting him on the field. That's the thing. He's on the field. I see him. Which well, I hadn't been seeing him. Oh, he's gonna have four sacks against us tomorrow right. or next week. One right. hundred percent. You know that's gonna happen. Yeah. <laughs> right. Unless it's Brissett. Uh, then he won't know what to do. Well, with him. If it's Sam Howell, Sam Howell will run right at him like a mouse to the lion's mouth. He'll run right <laughs> at him. He wouldn't know what to do anyway. So 
So I tell you what, Purdy didn't look good last night. I thought that they were the Ravens <laughs> taking the ball away from him, but we can't do that. We don't fucking intercept shit. We don't we don't take the ball from anybody. So I don't really have much faith for this coming week, which is fine with me. I'm kind of liking pick number three. We'll see what happens with it. Joe Alt, Joe Alt, Joe Alt. Yeah, it's going to be an interesting time. I don't know if we are. If we will end up, I think we'll end up with the third pick. I can't see us winning any of these two. Who does uh, Arizona got? Uh, Let's uh, check. I don't know. I'll find out. Yeah, here, here. Right. Everybody, watch us Google for a minute. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. <laughs> Week 17, uh, the Cardinals got the Eagles. Oh, the Eagles and the Seahawks. They could easily lose both of those. But, but Yeah, they, they will. They could They could beat the Seahawks. Did they just beat the Seahawks a couple weeks ago? Uh, uh, the sure. Seahawks are beatable. Yeah, they I got the uh, – Now, if, if, if the Cardinals win one game, I don't know if they pass because we beat them. I, I don't know but about the uh, – The tiebreaker. Yeah. Strength of schedule and all that as well. Yeah. That's what's got to go yeah. into it as well. We should have lost that game week one. We should have lost all these fucking people. We, on we were close. Like no, that would have been a shitty weekend. City ending to the, or a great weekend with my UK boys. Yeah, it was fun. It was yeah. Fun. Um, 20 I'm, to 10, they lost to the Seahawks, John, at Arizona. All right. So, no, they didn't even come close to beating them. No. So, we can so, hope. I mean, Carolina, ooh, they almost it. came back and won again the other day. I know, I know. Right. They, they, they scored they're... thirty points. Yeah, these damn no, underdog we're... teams are fucking my pool up now. First place is two games ahead, and I'm tied for second still by a guy that was in seventh place just two weeks ago. All right. wow. they, play, they play the Jaguars and they play the Buccaneers at the end of the season. Carolina, Jaguars, yeah, Carolina. You know, I mean that that's way out. To be able to somehow jump above the Bears at uh, pick number one. Oh, we're not going to do. We're not going to do that. That's, we're that's not going to do. That. I'm just looking at it. Yeah, you know, I mean, who's, I, nothing's mathematically impossible at this point, except for us making the playoffs. But the Jaguars, the, who's the they Patriots got left. Hard. We need the Bears uh, to to keep losing though. The Bears need yeah, to lose because we, we want that second round pick to be a little bit higher. Patriots so the, 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 Bill, the, the, the Pats the have got the Bills and the Jets, so they could win against the Jets. They could win against the uh, Bills. Me, me, meaning that meaning that we're solidified in that third spot. But I mean, realistically, what's around us? Is it it's Arizona, it's Chicago, it's uh who else? Carolina, us New England. And then the pa- and then New England, isn't it? Yeah, that's it. Yeah. And New England Bears got the Falcons and um the Packers. Fucking Taylor. So they could they could they could they, they could win both of them games. Fucking Taylor Heineke. What the fuck was it? The Colts. I mean, anybody, all of y'all pay attention to us when we're making picks. Y'all know I love the fucking yeah. Colts. I've been riding fuck. on the Colts. But I God damn it, if they don't let me down when they shouldn't. Fucking Heineke. Mm-mm, I know. Mm-mm, mm-mm, I know. So, anyway, he's been making me eat crow for two years. I know, but I, 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 I stuck with Tampa Bay this week. So, you did. You did. You, you did. did. So, I didn't have a very good week this week. I, the, the I don't brand, think so either. No, I don't think I had a very good week. But. I'll, have a, I'll, have a, I'll have a look back while we're well, here. I haven't totted anything up yet. but Yeah, that's for Friday. You got to give everybody, you can't go telling everybody everything right off the bat. Coming up Friday here on the Bleeding Burgundy Podcast, find out how we did with the Big Embossed Book by Scott Hartley. Oh. That's right, Scott Hartley and the Big Embossed Book. All right, Just so here's what I'm going to do. Since Scott is constantly on me, the, my WhatsApp is going off at 3 a.m. I can't sleep, John. I've got to get, <laughs> Scott's show's got to be over. It's that one hour. One hour. <laughs> so we have one. That's because I'm at work. That's because I'm at work, John, and it's 9 a.m. <laughs> I'm not bothered. <laughs> we have one minute and 30 seconds left. So unless you have something important to say, let's hear it. Go ahead. Give us something for a minute and a, a, minute and a half there, Scotty. Um, no, I don't Mr. think I've got a lot to say. Nothing Mr. to say. Mr. Soppy Bollocks Mr. Soppy Bollocks. I'll, I'll, tell, Mr. Soppy I'll Bollocks. tell everyone. I got, I got, I got kind of drunk um, yesterday, Christmas Day, and I thought, I'll write the guys a lovely message on WhatsApp. And it was absolutely soppy as it gets. Oh, it, was, it was amazing. I'm it was sorry. fantastic. <laughs> Including a picture, which I'm sure that all of us could <laughs> Including a picture, yeah. You don't want to see that, yeah. But, uh, hey, you know what? You get you get it when you can. 
All right. Mr. Burrows, indeed. Hello, mate. You're all right. Hope you're well. Yeah. How you doing, Andy? Uh, and I had I didn't hear from Scouse until I think like the third quarter was the last time I heard from Scouse. So Merry Christmas to him. And all He's that. been really not very well at all. Bless him. Yeah, oh. I think he might have COVID. He might have the vid. COVID. So he ain't doing too well. Hoping he's doing better today. Him, uh, well, yeah, and I, we are. See, this is what you get, Scott. We get down to thirty seconds. We're up talking about snotty noses again. All right, so. <laughs> no, yeah, we're all there. <laughs> Oh, just, just keep it on with the Scott parade here. There he is. Yes, get him on. <laughs> yeah, do that for another. That's, yeah, that is that is that is me on a Sunday, John. That oh, is hey, me on definitely. a Sunday. I'm sure. In your new Sam uh, Cosby shirt. In Sam my new Cosby. Sam Cosby shirt. Yeah, I got my wife a lot. Oh, Scotty was sweating. He was sweating. I was sweating it out. He, 